All right, today I'm going to walk you through using BrowseBirds in the new BirdsEye app. When you first open BrowseBirds, it's going to be using the settings you were last using when you were last using the app. You can see at the bottom that my app says sightings within 50 miles in the last four weeks. So I can scroll down through this list and it's, it's, a, it's a nice list. 227 species. This is central New York. So it's covering a pretty broad area. And you can see for each of these species, there's a bar chart. And what the bar chart is showing you is the abundance of these species throughout the year. You can see the months at the top. The higher the green bar is, the more common they are relative to other species. The red line shows the today's date. And then there's a red dot that shows the last time it was reported within the search area. So it'd be within 50 miles. So you can change this by going up to settings in the upper right. And let's say I want to look at something closer to home and go to 10 miles. And let's look at two weeks. And you can see that the list instantly updated. The cool thing is that the bar charts also update. So it's completely customized bar charts to exactly where you are or wherever you're interested in looking at. And so it makes a very personalized set of information and field guide for you. Now, if you click on a species, so you click on chicken sparrow, it's going to pull up a screen with more information. Depending on what you were last using, it'll show either the map or the species detail page, which is right here. And this shows information that Ken Kaufman wrote information that's helpful for finding the species. You can click on the, the icon or the species photo and scroll through a variety of photos that our contributors have submitted. So let's go back to the map. And you can see all of the sightings within the last 30 days. And you can zoom out. You see continent-wide view of chicken sparrows. You can click on the different ones to see when they were seen, the names of the hotspots. And you can see that there's a little cluster in the center here. That's because to create these maps really quickly, what we do is we show more, lo more location, locations most likely to be interested in. So we're going to show all the chicken sparrows that we're seeing at hotspots and at your personal locations. But then as you zoom out, we're just going to show the hot spots that these have been seen at. So again, this is to get you the information as fast as you can. And so that's one of the species. And so you can flip through and look at any of the species, any of the additional content for them. You can go directly to a photo from the list by tapping on it. I want to see oven birds. You get all the oven bird shots right there. Some really great ones. And you can go back and explore this way. Now you can see at the top, I'm looking at the recent tab, and that's just showing the birds that have been seen within my search area. You can also go to needs. I don't currently have any needs within this search area, but if I change it to larger radius, I might. Yeah, there we go. So there's a couple birds within 50 miles that I haven't recorded on this list. And so I could see exactly where, where to find them. You can also look at all, and this allows you to browse birds even if they haven't been seen in the current area. So we could look at, let's look at swallows, and you can see that not all of them have the bar charts, and that's because some of these species have not been recorded in this area. But the ones that have been recorded, do you have the bar charts? So you can pull up species that aren't being seen in the area now and see the bar charts. Let's pull up common red pool. You can use the band code if you want. So you can see that in the winter, they're very common. And so you can pull up that information even if it's not showing up in the recents. Click on that, we can see not many of them being reported, they're kind of outside of the area that a lot of the e-birders go. 
And so that's how you use Browse Birds. Um, I encourage you to play around with the different settings. You can also sort it different ways. You can sort it by last name, common name, group. So you can see here that you now we have it in alphabetical order by group. Whatever makes the most sense to you. Set it back to taxonomic. And that's everything. Let us know if you have any questions.